sunset in my mirror Pedal on the floor Found New York City And I won't be back no more Won't be back no more Boss won't see me around some old uh, Texas blues from the 20s or something. That's well, pretty traditional sound. I did see I did see Mance Lipscomb, you know, yeah. in the same room on more than one occasion, which is for me, I mean, Mississippi John Hurt played similarly, um, but Mance said that I think the difference between those guys is they were way more in tune than some of their contemporaries and much more melodic than some yeah. of their contemporaries, both mm -hmm. of them. And um, um, I think in Mance's case, I know pretty much where it comes from. It comes from playing... He played dances. He played in whorehouses, and he played at dances, you know, played mm -hmm. solo guitar for people to dance to. Yeah. And so he was learning the same stuff that piano players were playing. And it, it's, you know, he's he was as much a ragtime guitarist as he was, you know, a straight Delta mm -hmm. Blues guitarist. So let's get back to the song. Which ha which um, has a lot of great little blues licks in it. Yeah. Um, yeah, that's the sort of typical Robert Johnson turnaround. Yeah, which was kind of probably is where it started. It's like, and I think because I was trying to write something a little more melodic, and I, I originally wrote this and played it on a resonator guitar that belonged to Ray Kennedy, who was my partner in the studio that I owned for years and my co-producer on all those records I made in the 90s and you know the other records we produced, the Lucinda Williams record, some other stuff. And then when you capo up this high, it's that thing again. It compresses the fretboard. Gives you a little more room to reach in things without killing yourself. Because, I mean, I did, it was recorded live. I sang it and played it at the same time. And it's, um, you know, so... And you have that little, that nice little lick with the 
um, the third fret on the third string go into the open second, that little uh, down, not the other one. See, well, that's a different, that one. Yeah, and that's all the way through. That's Mass and, and you know Mississippi John Hart. That's that's where that all comes from. It's just right. keeping that and you know it's not. It's related to things like Sparkle and Shine. Those things you know those are basically blues changes too. You just take the sevenths and the ninths out. Right. You know it's, it's where that kind of bigger style guitar comes from. Right. Yeah. So you've got play play it one more time through nice a little slowly. So you, there you, your thumb is actually playing the little melody. It is. Line. It's, there's a there's a couple places where it comes. That. it as a as a guitar piece is it was it was basically contrived for me to play and sing at the same time and it's one of my favorite things about um about those records is you know there's uh, some friends of mine um very big event that happened in houston texas when i was living there was lightning hopkins did a show with zz top's rhythm section and you know it was and I got to go. I heard about it because I was in the right place at the right time. And the rehearsal for it was described to me later, you know, by by people that were there. And, and Dusty Hill, the bass player, asked Lydon and said, Lydon, I'm not sure where that, that change comes around to the C chord there. And he looked at me and said, Lightning change when Lightning want to change. <laughs>